What do you do when a customer cancels? Let's talk about it. Life is precious, so let's cherish it. Viv here from Vivi's Views, where we believe entrepreneurship is the best path to financial freedom. On this channel, we talk about life and we teach you how to transition from the corporate world into the entrepreneurial lifestyle. We upload videos daily. So if you want to be a part of what we are doing here, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And let's get on to the video. What do you do when a customer cancels? First point, process the information that you have received and control your emotions. The first feeling you get is disappointment, especially if this is a large project. Your mind starts to race and you're wondering and asking yourself, did you do something wrong? Did you say something wrong? Did she choose somebody else? What happened? Process those emotions and calm yourself down. You cannot jump into the other person's mind and start to make a simulations as to what happened. Clear your head. Take a deep breath. Walk. Relax. Do whatever it is that you need to do to calm yourself down. It's not the end of the world. Have faith and trust in your ability. Do not go into the negative realm. Stay positive. Point number three. After you are calm, Make a phone call to the patron and have a very pleasant conversation saying that you received the email and you're sorry you could not get back earlier, but you're responding now and you just wanted to know how he or she is doing. You make sure that before you make the phone call, if you're nervous, you smile like so. And then you pick up your phone and you say, hi, Brian. How are you doing? I just received your message that you're canceling. Is everything okay? At this point, your heart is in your hand because you've only just started and Brian was a big client and you're wondering if you should get in your head again. But remember what I said in point number one and point number two, you have to keep the negative thoughts out and you have to listen to Brian and hear his explanation. And when he's done talking, you say, okay, if he says that he wants to cancel it, oh Lord, your heart is going to start racing because you're going to start wondering if this is it, if it's over, but listen to what he has to say. If he doesn't say that and he said, oh, you know, something came up. I have to be in Seattle next week. So can we put it to the following week? Then you realize, you know, just like I said. If you had allowed those negative thoughts to take your mind over, it was all for naught. So when you have a prospective client and you get a phone call of a cancellation, always do those three things. You make sure that you clear your head of the emotions, you stay positive, And then when you're completely relaxed and detoxed from the stress, you get back in, you fake that smile before you get on the phone and you let them hear a smile in your voice and you listen and then you negotiate to take the, 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 the project back into orbit. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked what I said, give me a thumbs up, share the video, make a comment and subscribe. All right. And I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you in my next video.